Okay, it's January the 20th, 2009. Uh, as you can see, we have got the front end finally bolted in, at least most of the way. Uh, the top brackets, we're still working on them. We had to flip them over and swap sides because we raised the, uh, we put these spacers uh, in between here. And uh, so therefore, we had to uh, uh, take some metal off these uh, brackets on top and uh, so they'll kind of bolt down uh, firmly on the top of the frame there. Uh, we've uh, stripped some of the rust and paint off the firewall and covered it back up with primer. Um, that's about it. I mean, of course, that's enough right there for right now. Um, and we will just continue on with our progress. Let me get uh, one good shot here. And the truck is sitting pretty close to where I wanted it to. We still got th those uh, trailing arms behind it. We've got to make brackets for bolt on the frame as well and of course the sway bar and then uh, after that we'll be working on getting the engine drivetrain electrical components bolted up to it which I know is easier said than done but uh, that's it for right now okay it's uh, January 23rd uh, just gonna do a quick little video here uh, I had my students set the front clip back on temporarily just to see how it's going to match up with this new front suspension uh, everything looks pretty good uh, as far as how it's sitting in the in conjunction with the engine bay it looks like as far as our way the wheel matches up with the fender I'm going to have plenty enough room to put the 235's back on it like the truck originally had uh, so that's not going to be an issue. So uh, now, well, I guess we'll just have when the next class comes in, just having to set the front end clip back off, and we will continue working on it. Um, everything's turned out pretty good. I may have to make some more adjustments as far as where the front end sets, but that's why we haven't welded anything. Everything's just bolted in there right now, so no big deal there. We can make a few more adjustments. Uh, you know, but uh, just thought I would take a video to show how this looks when the front end clips back on. Of course, keep in mind when the engine is all set in there, it will set down lower than this, and uh, also uh, we'll have a bigger tire on it, so they will be probably a fair amount less clearance between the top of that tire and the bottom of that edge of that fender well there, but uh, that'll be all right. Okay, it's January the 20, no, it's January the 30th, actually, uh, Friday, uh, and we've got Wes here painting these beautiful brackets we just made. Actually, he's just putting primer on them, and as you can see, that looks just marvelous. Uh, let's refresh everybody's memory on where those are going to go. They will be going right here to uh, adjust our uh, caster. Uh, Ethan right now is currently trying to put the pencil grinder in the uh, hole there. Don't forget your safety glasses. Don't use forge. And uh, he's going to clean out these holes we burned for the top brackets. We, uh, we've got the floorboard primer now. Uh, we still, of course, have a lot to do on that. Uh, and over here, we have got Adam trying to figure out. We've got one more problem we're trying to figure out with this engine before we pull it out. It's being awfully cold-natured. And uh, we're trying some uh, stuff to see if maybe we can fix that problem. I want all the problems fixed with this engine before we pull it out of this uh, donor car. 
Whoa, I just heard some sparks go there. I probably had to try it out. Yeah, that was, uh, I think that was your char or battery cable from the uh, charger there. We're charging the battery up. It got run down some. Uh, but, uh, so right now Adam is uh, chasing down wires, trying to figure out where he's going with that. Uh, another thing we've done is uh, we've got the front clip off and we're trying to clean the metal up. Get as much of the rust off this thing. As everybody knows, this truck had some definite uh, rust issues with it. So we're trying to get got the top side pretty much cleaned off now. Stripped down pretty good. We'll be ready to start painting and primering. Okay, it is, uh, I believe, February the 6th, 2009. And... Uh, been a while since I've done an update, but we've gotten a fair amount more done. Uh, here's the brackets that we've been seeing like working forever on, as far as the trailing arm goes. We finally got those done, and uh, some of the people I've seen off the internet who done theirs, they welded theirs to the frame, but I wasn't too good with that. So we drilled out some uh, about five eight size holes and put some uh, bolts in there bolt it down I believe that'll hold it fine of course our welding shop done the pretty well there to weld one part of the bracket to the other uh, still haven't decided on the sway bar it's still just hanging where I left it now as you can see up here we've got the power brake booster mounted to it now uh, not permanently yet we're just kind of doing kind of a mock-up to see how everything's going to go together um, and as you can see, the steering column is coming out of it now. We've got a, a steering column in it. It's not the one we're going to use, but it's going to be one like it. Once again, we're just kind of getting our brackets. We had to do a little more sophisticated deal on this than what I was expecting. We mounted the, uh, the steering column in there. Uh, as you can see, these four brackets we had to put on it to keep it uh, in, up in the right position where the steering wheel needs to be. Uh, we still have a problem with it being a little bit um, unsteady, but it's not too bad, but I'd, I'd like to steady it up a little more, so we're probably going to put some, we've got another bracket, I probably can't see it, it's too dark, but we've got another bracket in here that we're going to steady up this part of the dashboard too, because it's fairly thin metal and uh, it needs uh, more strength there. Another problem we're going to have to deal with is the brake pedal. Uh, I have little eight and a half to nine feet, shoe size feet, and uh, my foot, put it up there, see it just barely touches the bottom of the brake pedal. Well, it knocks the bolts out. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is probably take that out and see if we can have that pedal extended down some, because uh, that was just where we had to mount it at as far as uh, where everything else went. So. Uh, we're going to put a, uh, extend that pedal out so it'll fit my foot a little bit better. And, uh, of course, this is one of the seats. We're putting split benches out of a Crown Vic in it. And that's one of the seats, the driver's side, that's going in it. And the other one's laying in the back there. But we're going to have to do some modifications to the track so they will set level and even when we go to drill the holes out and both those in. But we're making slow progress. And, and one last thing, we have gotten the engine out of the donor car, the engine and trans, and so there is the 4.6 liter sitting on the shop floor now uh, waiting for us to install it. And I'm not going to use this transmission. We'll use a, this one slips. So I've got another one we're going to use. And uh, so we'll have to swap that out before we install it all. But probably for right now we're going to just set this thing over to the side and now start uh, taking our wiring harness and other components out of our donor car uh, to transfer over to the truck and, uh, and get that working properly. So anyway, I know this video is a little bit longer, but it's been a while since I've done one, so there's a little bit more to tell about what all we have gotten done this week.